Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will demonstrate to you the uh, method of drawing the orthographic projections in a relatively complex object involving number of curved features and uh, also there are uh, certain issues uh, related to uh, some of the fe uh, hidden features uh, uh, because of uh, the object being the single object. So please uh, remember, so these uh, objects that we consider in engineering graphics, we all consider them to be single objects. They are not composed of uh, different components. They are uh, uh, single objects. That means the material, uh, wherever the solid, uh, one, one part of the solid merges with the other part of the solid. So there, the material of the two uh, two portions of the component so they uh, will not have uh, distinguishing features so so except at the edges so mm. these principles we shall uh, demonstrate we shall utilize here so let us uh, start with the front view so in the front view so we shall see here uh, First of all, so we shall see eight by a four uh, two rectangle corresponding to the bottom base in the front view. Then we clearly see uh, six by two rectangles like this. And next is this uh, cylinder, so which will appear as a rectangle. So the then we have the hollow cylinder, so that portion also will appear as a rectangle as shown here. So these are the uh, visible features. Now uh, about the hidden lines, we'll use uh, cyan color. So to represent the hidden line, so we will choose the cyan color and we will close again this box. So the hidden line here will be basically the hole we see the which is which is two grid uh, spaces in diameter uh, uh, starting from this point. So now about this point the bot, uh, bottom portion is not known we don't know how to how much uh, depth this hole is but the general assumption is so whenever nothing is clear so we assume it to be a blind, uh, a through hole so that means it extends right up to the other uh, uh, side of the solid so right up the right up to the bottom from top to bottom it appears so, so that, that is how we have uh, shown it in the orthographic projection next uh, with this the, all the features in the front view are complete the next thing is the side view so for the side view we know we shall start with the visible line so i change the color to white again uh, the black again now so for that you see we shall have uh, first visible feature appearing like this in the side view this corresponds to the outer uh, cylindrical portion so at the bottom it is complete but at, uh, as you move up uh, two grid spaces from the right uh, from the exact bottom so you have only half of this outer cylinder available so half of that has been shown so this is from outside that you will see and uh, because uh, this outside cylinder is not there so inside cylinder here is also visible so this is four grid spaces in height and up to this point so this is the visible these are the visible portions now what about the hidden portions let us uh, see uh, will you will use them will use the cyan color for representing the hidden portions so hidden portion first of all without any ambiguity we have uh, the 
from this point to this point this is the hole also you note that so we have this curvature so this curvature uh, is a kind of an edge so that also will be extending from this point to this point okay so this is corresponding to this edge and we have uh, from the side view the line of tangency so corresponding to this cylinder the internal cylinder so that line of tangency will be extending only up to this uh, portion so that is what we show here some of you may be tempted to assume that uh, this uh, cylinder uh, you, you may assume that this particular cylinder and this particular cylinder so they are both uh, separate uh, uh, things and they should extend up to the bottom but please remember the objects that we are considering in this course they are single objects so as we move below this particular circle or this particular uh, ellipse so uh, or this particular portion of the solid so you will notice that the solid merges or these this component and this component they are not separable so they are same material so no line will appear below uh, this visible uh, or this portion so this is exactly what you will see as the line here now uh, what about the top view so for the top view again we will change the color to uh, white color so that visible features are drawn first so you note that first of all we see a cylinder corresponding or a circle corresponding to the hole next is the circle corresponding to uh, this portion of the circle and uh, after this we have the outermost cylinder here and you know here the sorry uh, it has to be a line so this because this upper portion is at a different location this lower portion is at a different location so there is a line like this so this is what we have as the orthographic projections of the given object. Thank you.